Welcome back to Fishing Doctor's Adventures. Here we have a ling cod that I cut up in uh, Big Sur. This is a blue color phase ling cod. You can see that the meat is blue and uh, all the mucosal membranes and everything is blue. Don't worry, this is still a safe fish to eat. Don't throw it away. And you can keep it if you do catch one over the size limit, which is 22 inches currently. And so I'm using a Rapala electric filleting knife today and just another filleting knife from uh, Bass Pro Shop. So I'll show you how I fillet the fish. First of all, I just go behind the large pectoral fin, cut down to the spine like that, cut through. But here I go down to the spine, I can actually cut through the rib bones. You see, this fish has already been gutted out on the coast after I caught it, I gutted it right away and put it on ice and then I just use this electric knife, you see I cut through the rib bones, cut right down to the meat there, it looks really nice. I just keep cutting back, keep cutting back all the way to the tail. I leave it attached there so that when I flip it over I can just take the skin off. Now I flip it over to the other side right away since uh, it's sometimes easier to do the other side before you remove the other one. So I cut down the coral fin again. Actually, let's move this out of the way. Do a try like this. Flatten the meat out there. Roll along the backbone. You can cut through the ribs again. Cut along the spine as you go back to the tail. And then you can flip the meat over. You see I didn't miss like hardly any meat, got all the meat there. I just cut through the tail like that. And then what you can do is set your fillets off to the side. The face actually has some good meat right here in the cheek. So what you do is you just feel around the back side and you trim it around the back side like this. And down around the jaw. Stick your finger in there like that cut along the bottom and you can actually peel that meat once you trim it right off the cheek and these are like little chicken nuggets a part of the fish you don't want to throw away right there this part of the fish has now been taken off the spine we have a few ribs remaining there from being cut off so I'll just go down Trim it up quick, cut the entrail portions off the bottom, and uh, now there's going to be bone in here just like other fish, this uh, pin bones, or Y bone, some people like to call it, that runs along the lateral line of the fish, okay? That one you can just cut out using a knife as you uh, feel it, cut off the one side, cut down angle towards the bone so you can feel it as you go down the bone towards the skin just like that and then go on the other side of the bone angle towards the bone again so you don't take off much flesh so there's as little flesh as possible and then once you've done that you can uh, then uh, just take off the flesh off the skin and those bones will come out when you do this now first to start you just angle straight down to the meat and then you keep your knife angled very flat uh, like three degrees and then you just kind of wiggle back and forth. You do the wiggle. These fish have pretty tough skin so you shouldn't worry about cutting through it. I'll take some fin bones off here. Trim it up nicely. Just kind of angle down, keep the pressure on the skin, and there you go. There's your beautiful fillet, just like that. And you see the skin, we got all the meat off that skin. Now you see the flesh is very blue here, and uh, some people are afraid to eat it. You may not even want to give this fish away to your friends because they might end up throwing it away thinking you're just giving them old fish. So actually, 
keep the blue ones or make sure you warn your friends that hey this fish is fresh I just caught it the other day and it's one color phase of the fish so they have one beautiful fillet let's do the other one the same way and then we'll be done okay so there we have it all done two great fillets from this uh, ling cod that we're going to turn into some fish and chips so stick around later see how we make some fish and chips there we go that's all there is to it and that other friend of mine will like eating that head turning that head what a beautiful head into some fish and chips okay so see you guys later hope you enjoyed uh, filleting this ling cod and welcome back to the fishing doctor's adventures here's a nice gopher rock fish we caught up a big sir uh, this is uh, about a 13 inch specimen they don't get a whole lot bigger than this one of the smaller rock fishes we have here in California uh, 